I had Chihuahua, it's hot up there, huh? <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> Too hot. All right, time to take a coffee break. And we're starting with a big concern for doctors surrounding the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And it almost goes without saying, but don't try what you see if the Olympic athletes are doing at home. So doctors say they see an uptick of injuries during the Olympics. People are imitating everything from skateboarding <laughs> to gymnastics tricks and how rugby players lift each other up to catch the ball. Well, I believe it. <laughs> well, something attempting a trick is safe because they used to practice the sport. And experts say it's great people are inspired, but emphasize how much training athletes go through to be able to do what they do. I mean, I would love to do what Simone Biles does, but... I mean, you're pretty talented, though. Yeah, you're an you ice skater. Yeah, you actually are like the only case that actually does do what the Olympics Yeah. Olympians are you trying other skating. sports and no. activities after watching no. this? No. No. I, <laughs> creating the glory years? No. I just think about how bad that would hurt. I know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I've been seeing it all over Instagram of people trying to go back and do gymnastics or whatever sport. <laughs> And it just looks painful. I did happen upon a trampoline. My friend's kids okay. have tra a trampoline. Yeah. I was like doing backflips and I was like, yeah, I still got it. And then the next day I couldn't walk. Oh no. Like, it, it, <laughs> Broken wrist later. Same. Or yes. for me, you're jumping yeah. for five minutes. You're like, how am I tired from jumping on like exactly. on that? Like, the problem was, is they make it look so easy. I was thinking yes. about pole vaulting today, but since you <laughs> said that story, one. probably should, yeah, should keep, air against it. Well, if you do do it, make sure to send us like a video. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> that'll, that'll play well on Instagram, right? Well, it's easy to feel lazy when you're watching the Olympics on TV, but don't let that deter you from tuning in because research from a British university suggests you burn a lot of calories just by watching the see, don't try this stuff, just sit back and watch. <laughs> the average person can burn up to 540 calories in 90 minutes of watching. What if they're on a treadmill? Okay. That's equivalent I to guess running. Your heart rate goes up. Maybe. Yelling and yeah. jumping. You can do Come it. On. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Yeah. Please burn five calories there. Uh, study says the more you jump, you shout, you clap, you cheer, the more calories you burn. So it can be like a spectator, you know. It can, it, be, it can be a thing. Balances out all the snacks. Yeah, yeah. Eat, right. If you're sitting eating yeah. nachos, you're probably net positive on the calories. I will yeah. say it has motivated me to to work out more. Really? And like did, last I week, I woke up from my nap and I'm like, I want to do a water activity. You want to go to the beach? <laughs> or are we going to go to the pool? We went paddleboarding. <laughs> so, Look at you getting inspired. So it works. I mean, it doesn't inspire me all the time, but those did. Well, you're getting. You to see the those gym. bodies in the water, and I'm like, while. okay, how do I get that? Okay, Not if by given snacks. a choice, guys, between a flashy sports car and a Subaru, what do you choose? What kind of what kind of sports? I'm taking a Lambo. Honest, I'm honest. taking a Lambo. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Yeah. Be All fun. right. Well, this is now if a it's debate free. <laughs> because Nicole Kidman brought up the topic in a Vogue interview with Victoria Beckham. They were discussing she and the two of them were discussing her husband's love of cars, and Nicole revealed that Keith Urban got her a Lamborghini <laughs> as a gift, but. She doesn't drive it. I'll take she it. says mm -hmm. she's not a car person at all. All she needs is a drivable car with AC. So instead, Simple. she still drives her Subaru, and then Keith drives the Lamborghini. This just makes me love her more, though, because it's like she's down to earth. You know, she doesn't need to I show mean, it's off functional. All that money. It gets you from point A to point B. Yeah, and yeah. if he likes it, let him drive it. I mean, maybe was it really a gift for her to just buy the Lambo <laughs> knowing she wasn't going to drive it? Yeah, Fair. But also point. with Subarus, like maybe they go camping a lot. Who knows? Those, <laughs> like those are the in. cars, you know, where you go camping. So. <laughs> drive right to the Four Seasons. Yeah, right. We're going to go, go camping. All right, so this next story, a local man. Uh, he helps people evict illegal tenants, and he's become an international viral sensation. So we know about squatters mm -hmm. all over. Well, we featured this man, Flash Shelton, on KCON News a couple months ago. He's known as the Squatcher Hunter. He goes after people illegally living in someone else's property. Shelton has been documenting his encounters <clears throat> on YouTube and his channel has grown so much. He's now looking for cases to tackle on his own TV show. Kind of reminds me of Dog the Bounty mm. Hunter. Mm -hmm. The concept has become massively popular because the law makes it tough to remove squatters. His unconventional methods get people out in as little as four hours. I mean, I, I worked in Oregon up there. We had the squatting problem here in Los Angeles. We have the squatting problem. <laughs> I, I, I think it'd be marketable. I think people would watch. I, I, I think a lot of people would be watch. calling them up. Oh, for help. absolutely. Yeah. It's dangerous, though. I yeah. mean, you don't know the what the squatters, if they have guns, if they, you know, like there's a lot you don't know when you're walking into a situation. Yeah, like but I can only imagine how frustrating it is for these homeowners sure. who yeah, have absolutely. these people that go in there and refuse to get out. And the neighbors. And the neighbors, yeah. yeah. I get it. Puts people in a tough spot. Yeah. yeah. But hey, if that show works, I'd watch. Unconventional method. That just makes you wonder. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? Makes for good TV, huh? Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's today's coffee break. Now you can get your KCAL news, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.